Reflecting Christ, October 9th, Divine Power and Human Effort. Titus 2, verse 11 and 12 says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. While Christ is cleansing the sanctuary, the worshipers on earth should carefully review their life and compare their character with the standard of righteousness. As they see their defects, they should seek the aid of the Spirit of God to enable them to have moral strength to resist the temptations of Satan and to reach the perfection of the standard. They may be victors over the very temptations which seem too strong for humanity to bear, for the divine power will be combined with their human effort and Satan cannot overcome them. All heaven has been looking on with interest and ready to do whatever God might appoint to help fallen men and women to become what God would have them. God will work for his children, but not without their cooperation. They must have indomitable energy and a constant desire to become all that is possible for them to be. They should seek to cultivate their powers and develop characters that will be meet for a holy heaven. Then and then only will the servants of God be bright and shining lights in the world. Then they will bring energy into their Christian life where they will put all their powers to the task and respond to the efforts that have been made to uplift, refine, and purify them that they may shine in the courts above. They will bring all their powers under the control of the Spirit of God. They will study his word and listen for his voice to direct, encourage, strengthen, and advance them in their religious experience. They will not be childish and be turned aside by the temptations of Satan. They will deny themselves, not appealing to their own sympathies, for they will be of a heroic spirit. They will hoard up the great and precious truths of God's word. They will feed upon them and grow into strong, well-developed men and women in Christ, sons and daughters of God. The greatness of the truth which they contemplate will expand the mind and elevate the character. They will not be novices in the understanding of God's word nor dwarfs in religious experience. Conflict with the enemies of truth will not shatter them nor weaken their energies. It will only serve to drive them nearer to him who is mighty to save. They will receive the discipline that will give efficiency to all their faculties. Heaven will be brought near to them in sympathy and cooperation, and they will be indeed a spectacle to the world, to angels and to men, for they will be marked characters on account of their purity, their strength of purpose, their firmness, their usefulness in the world. Hope you have a great day today. Reflect Christ.